It started tonight with a breaking news update. A tiny body recovered from a neighborhood lake just blocks from where a toddler disappeared. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. WREG's Bria Jones joins us live from the subdivision tonight where a massive search ended in heartbreak and despair. Bria, a lot of people trying to make sense out of the senseless. Yeah, Greg and Steph, a lot of heartache in this community tonight. I know this search started with such high hopes and then things took a tragic end after a little body was found in this lake. Sheriff Department, I'm trying to see, uh, do you recognize this little girl that we just found out here? This is the site many residents at the Laurel Tree Subdivision in Southeast Shelby County awoke to as Shelby County deputies went door to door just before 2 a.m. trying to find a four year old girl's home. My heart dropped. I was like, oh my God, I cannot imagine because I do have a four year old granddaughter. The efforts to get the little girl home quickly became a search effort for her three year old brother, Israel Powell. Nearly 12 hours later, his body believed to be found in Jamison Lake blocks from his home. Devastating loved ones. Been so sad all morning when I saw the news. I was just praying that he wouldn't be gone. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry because I've never, never had nothing to touch me this close. And um, just pray for us. The sheriff's office says the two children were last seen by family at their home on Laurel Springs Drive, which is an 11 minute walk from where neighbors reported them playing in heavy downpour. At about one o'clock this morning, deputies got a call from a resident at the resident here at the lakeside. They said they saw two people, two young people um, running around. And so we came out here and there was a four year old girl found. The little girl was taken to the hospital in non critical condition, but it wasn't until hours later around 530 AM when the children's mother reported them missing and the dots were connected, prompting the massive search for little Israel that left many hurting as a lifeless little body was recovered from the neighborhood lake. It was heartbreaking. I mean, to find a three year old in a lake, something that we was all hoping that wouldn't come through. <laughs> the sheriff's office is yet to say if any charges will be filed, only telling us that the investigation is ongoing. For now, reporting live in Shelby County, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3.